Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to link a front-end Microsoft Access database form to a SharePoint backend so that you can have synchronized data and that you can uh, access a backend Microsoft Access database with front-ends on various machines over the internet. So let's get cracking, let's try and make this video as quick as possible. What you first need to do is log into your Microsoft account go to your SharePoint, click on SharePoint. Once this opens up, you need to create a site. We do this and you click on team site. You give the, the site a name. For this one, I'm just going to call it test HR. Once that has uh, set up, take note of that. So I'm going to copy this and then you click on next any additional users. So you need to send out this invite to all of those uh, people within your organization or your team that uh, need to access this. That This is how they get permission. Or you could change this from a private group to a public, but I, I haven't really explored with that. So I'm going to do a test with, with one other person, myself and this person. So I'm adding that person. Okay, so that's that's done and that's all we need to do here. So now that that has been created, this is the SharePoint where the backend tables will be stored to. And SharePoint automatically takes care of uploading the files. So this uh, window in my Google Chrome browser that I've opened is a remote computer. This is my local desktop over here. And this is a, another computer over the internet. You can see the different times, the different machines. That's in South Africa, and I'm in the United Kingdom. So let's take this uh, front-end copy of this database. I'm going to use an example of a HR system that we use for, for our business. So what I'm doing is, let me just do this and I'll explain. What I've done is I've copied the, the back-end file and the front end file. So at the moment, only users on this local LAN are able to access the, the system via using a front end file at, on the local LAN. So using SharePoint, I've now uh, put a copy into a folder over here that I can access on my machine. Here we go here. So what we first need to do is, is the back end files, is upload the back end files to SharePoint. So you log into the backend files, and here they are here, these tables. We need to export these, um, these tables to SharePoint and upload it. So you click on this, database tools, SharePoint to upload. You paste in that link to your SharePoint site. So you can see there, test HR. I've done a couple tests. I've got two that do work at the moment, but this is a demonstration. So click on next. Now what this is doing is, is it is uploading all of the all of the tables to SharePoint. So you let this carry on for a few minutes. Now depending on the size of your system, this may obviously take a bit more time. It might take a bit longer. Great. So once this is finished, there we go. Your tables have been successfully shared and that's been uploaded. So we click on finish. We can see that the the icon has changed to this orange looking or like yellow looking um, icon and there's an arrow. So that you can see now that is pointing to the SharePoint 
directory. So if we click on, let's say, employees, or rather let's go on job grades, you can open this up, uh, excuse me, not in design view. If you open it up as the as a table, you can see there's the data there. If you do make changes, that is changing on the, the SharePoint uh, backend file, files. So if we close this now, now the front end, now the front end, it creates a backup copy. I'm not sure why, but it, it does do that. So that's been uploaded. Now the front end copy, I'm going to take this out of OneDrive, paste this onto my desktop. Front end copy, let's open this, enable the content. What I need to do is I just need to activate the, the left hand uh, pane over here. So let's go to options, current database, display navigation pane, display document tabs, okay. Okay, close and reopen the database. This, so this is the front end copy. There we go. Now we can see normally they would be linked via a table over the, excuse me, linked uh, to the, the back end tables over the LAN. So let's, we can remove these now. And what we're going to do is we're going to link a new data source from online services, a SharePoint list, and then we will select check that it is the correct URL of your of the site that we just created early on in this video. Link to the data source by creating a link table. Click on next. Now it's going to establish the link once you've clicked on all of these. So literally click on every single one of these which are your tables and there's a couple additional uh, items that has been added such as like this over here. I'm not sure what that is but um, I think it's important so yeah just click on all of those click on ok that imports those tables and establishes and creates that link so once that has been done now this is my copy on this local machine so let's do a test so if we select an employee it's going to select the employee from from this table over here based on the data that has been uploaded. It takes a bit of time initially to like download the data and for this to, to start working, but it, it does work beautifully. So there we go, that loads. Let's just add a home telephone number of one, two, three, four, five. And that saves that, great. So let's close this now. Now this was on my local machine. So let's close the database. There we go. Now let's switch back to the remote computer that I was working on. So now what I'd like to do is, is to copy the, the front end file, copying and pasting it onto this desktop so that I don't damage anything that's currently live. So take the front end copy now. This is a different computer over the internet. And I'm going to do the same thing by linking the tables to the, the SharePoint site. So I just need to do this so I can edit that. There we go, so remove these. Establish that link again. Now you see we need to put the test HR, link to the data source, click on next. There we go, link all of these. Make sure that you get all of these little chaps. Okay, we've got those, click on OK. Now you might be able to get away, instead of doing this every time for all the users on your network to copy and send them the, the front end of this that you've done for them to use. But for this demonstration, I'm, I'm showing you this. So you can see I'm on a different machine. Now, if we select employee, it will fetch the data from the SharePoint site. And there we go, the home telephone number of one, two, three, four, five. Let's do this as uh, SharePoint tests so that you can see this on this machine. I've done this return to the main menu that is saved. Let's close the database now down and let's log off this remote machine, logging off that machine. Let's open up my front end copy on this computer over the internet. 
close that, select employee. And we should see for this employee that there we go, the home telephone number of SharePoint test. Therefore, this works. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and this was simple to use.